Oke, okay, kita masuk ke game pertama di sini antara Fireflux versus Blacklist International. We've seen him move from flavor to flavor. Valentina, Eve, Lilia, more recently, the latter. Now, it's good to see that Blacklist have all of those options open. They can choose one and anchor on that. Rose is the opposite. Rose can just play any of these heroes and succeed either way. So that's something that we have to note, especially going into the first two-pick swing for Black Sun Red. That's a fair argument here, and I mean, more importantly, so it does have its pros as well as cons, right? Some of these picks definitely are more bridgier than others that kind of support the rest of the composition in comparison to UA, whereas like now it is not only, <laughs> hey, this helps out the top, and more importantly, it counters the opponents, but this is a legitimate win condition. Okay. Oh, you love us, Lilia. Ini Lilia ini naik lagi naik tren banget ya. See the level of priority to get that mid lane control. Coach Bad Joseph knows you not only allow Rosa to be comfortable, but you also take something away from Yue. So what's he to do here? Pick up the Valentina this oh. early on? Likely, especially since Faramis is open too, so one or the other. Lilia, apa yang bakal diambil sama Blacklist? Fredrin. Kayaknya enggak sih, tetap kayak Baxia bagus gak sih? Let's pair it up, right? Because again, it's interesting to see that Ohev Oke, Baxia sama Arlon gak sih? Arlonnya fleksibel tuh. Blacklist. Ya, yeah, Arlon di band ya. Ya, Faramis lah. Apalagi, kalau enggak, Valen aja udah. Sendiri, iya. Pada istirahat, guys. Lilia. Biasanya kalau lawan Baxia ini... Kalau enggak, Fredrin... Kalau enggak Fredrin, ya... Marty sih. It's a power pick for him. You could definitely go for it. It's a safe pick and it's also a good pick away from Oheb. So, we have seen a different side of Oheb in MP on the knee. Ambil uh, MM dulu kah ini? The fact that they're giving him more time to shine on the winning matchup. Picking up heroes like the Bruno. Oh, anjing tiga little terrorist lah, Cok. What the fuck? Enggak ngambil jungler dulu ya? Dimatiin dong jungler ya, Cok. They don't care, man. They don't care. They really don't. They yeah, they don't care, bro. Bener, they don't care, ya. Yeah. Sunshine gets it, or it just goes Brody, and you get bullied instantly. Something else to know, where is the Bruno? Uh -huh. Where is the Bruno? I think that's the expectation for the side of Fireflux at the very least, right? Because you know, oh, you're gonna clump up together, we already have a Lilia to kind of peel you away, but at the same time, you know what? If you are going to kind of <laughs> stick together, oh. let's punish you with the Ah, kena digi langsung. Blacklist nih kayak gini nih, guys. Wah, piknya mahal, cok, cok. Eggman sounds good. We'll see if Eggman can... The heal man, the Eggman? Eggman sounds good. We'll see if Eggman can make the diggy work. We have seen the diggy so well. Oh, I get it. It's a Tigreal. It's a Terizla. These are the two combinations that would destroy a team that's set. Take it away from them. And now, what does Fireflux play with? Alien main apa ya guys kalau game kayak gini? Udah pasti terrorist lah. Berarti ini bakal main assassin gitu. Soalnya lawan Digi mereka mata UB bagus di splitin gak sih? Tuh kan, di ban hero-hero split guys. So be able to jump. I mean, keeping up with the overall trend, it looks to be, especially after looking at the first phase. Obviously, Gwen power picks, but then also join as well as Lone, not giving them any opportunities to actually play. Bruno, Digi Bruno, bagus. From the side of Life International, so much emphasis on Tianzi because Tianzi. Kari bagus guys untuk Blacklist. We have seen from Fireflux Esports in their wins, it might be a five ban towards him. Full respect, like you mentioned, Leo. But it could also be finally some respect towards. Gila ya, Blacklist main penuh angin stage ya. Anyone gives him the same amount of respect as you should. So again, just cover your bases. Just one more gold laner. Give Oeb the power pick on the swing back when you first pick on red. But yeah, no, just like Apex 47. I don't think we all give enough love to Tianzi. If y'all remember, in MSC, he was the one who brought out the AA mod. Exactly, and it worked. They got wins, solid ones. Hey, even in M4, he was able to pick up so many random picks. It looked random until Tianzi played it on the world stage. Over the likes of Echo, they won a game over Echo, man. 
When the body These are tough matchups regardless, right? But at the very least, ooh, smart coming in for the Sire of Fire. Uh, fire so I was about to call, maybe they were considering the really stream, guys. Especially when we're talking about, quote-unquote, Swiss Army Knives, right? Benedetta yeah, gets yeah, that build. Hey, we're talking about other types. I don't think it's going to be as so crazy long. as, uh, well, like, like we saw before, Thamos, but we do see the lock in a Brody. Yep, the Brody pickup usually for Fire Flux when they see this kind of composition. And MSC, they go for the Beatrix, and that's exactly what they go for here. With the Beatrix, it's safe, right? You go for the Claude, and it's tough. It's a fair miss and a Diggy. You have to chase them down. Meanwhile, Brody can just put stacks on you while backing up. So the Beatrix with the range, with the clear, especially against the Brody in lane. What's the end of the play now? Uh, doesn't have many of the good assassins in uh, the game currently. Again, you just look at the and the joy. Yeah. Uh, Bro, but, uh, what's left open is the Fredrin. I don't oh. think you want a Fredrin against this lineup. Anjir, high ground you're kiri so kuat banget, guys. Gila. Assassin gak sih? Ini udah. Badannya udah banyak banget. Lancelot lah. Every time we said it, right? He's able to pick up random, looks Ooh. random, but they play Ooh. to such a different level. This is M4 all over again. About 11 Leo months Morto. ago, Deja in, the, in the heart of the Arda, in tennis in Dorsenai, and they did this, they did just this. Oh, and they close up the draft with the Edith. All right, put it in the hands of Abun Jing Jing. I love it. Wow. I'm really liking it, especially in that second phase, right? Now we're having layers of the yang yang ada kuda lumping, guys, di situ, guys. Gak ada, guys. And now we have a finisher, and now we have peel for that finisher in case it gets too close. And they both have... Uh, they have they have both flavors of that. Leo Mardu susah main gak sih guys ketemu Edit. So fire flux, playing with fire. I'm loving it. Ditarik tarik kuda nya. We have to cover our bases. Badannya baksia, di cover Faramis. Aduh. They have great range. The McDealer ya bro di. Pokoknya ini Apex atau Alien harus buang ulti Digi baru tim fightnya si Fire Flux enak guys. And the way Sensui rotates around the map, so that's why their lineup is higher. But counter index wise, it's in the interaction. If Fire Flux turns, Fire Flux turns big. So it's in the execution then, and we'll see exactly that as we dive into the land of dawn for game number one, Blacklist International. For a full 3-0 perfect run in the group stages the against Firefox, who are looking for their second win in this stage. It's time for the two teams to collide. Bingung guys, Terizla buang ulti, Diginya ulti. Ntar Tigre buang ulti, Faramisnya ulti, co. Yeah, guys. Now a couple of things that we need to address here is number one, the fact that the early game might not necessarily go in either side's favor, right? You would expect them to kind of mirror each other and smother as much as they can. Yeah, there there was an attempt. Uh, I saw they sent over Apex 47 to check in and uh, see what shenanigans were afoot, but I guess. That's okay because Fireflux is actually poised for that. They got a couple of wilderness blessings, so fast rotations from their mid lane duo. Gila. Farmingnya cepat banget. Udah clear dua creep, langsung sentuh kelomang. Heroes and then a good amount of coverage and damage. Assassin emblem on the Brody and the magic emblem, mage emblem on the two from. Itu kalau dapat laser ke grobaknya juga tajir banget itu. Especially on Rosa. So Rosa knows. The Thorn Queen knows that. Hey. It's not just Oheb or Edward trying to find me. Even the pulls from you is going to matter. You can even see the instant respect from both of the gold laners. For Brody, he knows it's going to be the leather jerkin or the leg plates built early. So go straight for the fury hammer into that heptasis. Meanwhile, for Sunshine, he didn't want to go fully for the leg plates. He needs that dagger as well to give him some amount of damage. Mateji! Jono baru saja memberikan seratus ribu. Terima kasih masih restream wajah tersenyum. Siap Mas Jono, thank you, thank you. Iya, gua nggak tahu guys. Hari ini gua semangat mat. Apalagi ntar ada mabar juga gua. Empat game lima game mana? Baru gua. Okay, udah ditekan sini sama blacklist guys ya. Blacklistnya gerak duluan. Kalian apex diikat. Oh, tumben gak objektif blacklist ya Oh mirror mereka cuk Aman aja Able to get away. Yep. It's just like we said uh, before the drafts, right? How Blacklist International, this new lineup tends to play. 
They're definitely comfortable giving Oheb the, the strong matchup and playing instantly towards that side, removing any kind of pressure that they have on the other side. It doesn't matter. Even with Sensui here, that's how they want to play. It's Sir. Yep, anti-disaster protocol. We'll give out the things that we can afford to lose and then give as much EXP and gold to where it matters. EXP to Sensui, more specifically, and Oheb the gold. Back to what I was saying. The way that they're playing actually slow is they're building on Yue, on Renege, uh, rather on, uh, yeah, exactly, Renege and Oheb. I'm not used to saying that. I'm not used to <laughs> saying, let's put money on Renege, but yeah. no, they need that. They need to give this Diggy items so that eventually it'll be awkward for TNZ to clean up. It'll be awkward for Rosa to even use Black Shoes because everywhere there's damage. Oh. Something to note as well. What's up? Before. Whoa. Well, first what? Blood already falling into the hands of Fire Flux, right? Sui, you're trying to go for the pinch, but it was too late as UA taking way too much damage and even loses his flicker in the process. So for Blacklist and for Firefox, they actually have um, a little bit of a contradicting uh, composition because usually we see different all in get to see in this. at different times. Sensui's getting chunked here. Gila anjing jago banget. Fireflux, guys. Getting that slow. Dari dulu dia. Ini kalau kalian tahu ya, Fireflux ini tim Turki ini. Kalau misalnya awal riset season ngelihat di top 1 sampai 10 ada Turki itu tuh mereka, guys. An anak global. Pushing out the purple, compromising the Swiss farm and you're right Mirko on the dot. Early on, Fireflux Jadi mekaniknya tinggi, guys. Blacklist, not so much. But at some point in the mid game, when they both hit their power spike, they will meet. And then whoever loses out the least is the one who comes out, and then it's a game of inches from there. Something to know, check out Apex 47, Rock and the Quantum Charge. He can use the movement speed boost to reposition for a better implosion. What's up, the follow up? up. Quickly attacked by the penalty zone. Time journey is going to save them all. Are they going to disengage? No, oh, the pullback by the implosion. It's going to be able to what? make it for. Oh my god, Apex AK47 anjing. Holy shit, the biggest sucks ever, bro. Apex 47, what did Leo tell you guys? Don't count this man out. The timing, the layering, the baiting of the time journey. Perfect. There it is. See, uh, he used both the quantum charge repositioning plus the flicker. All right, wow. there it is. He used the flicker to finesse into that spot. My he God, gila, moving, Wilderness blessing. We're in the river. Pow! Four men under. Doesn't matter if you had. Keyword had. Ini dia stratnya Firefox hero nya guys. Yes. Blacklist International, they're gonna be writing that one down. They're like, okay, we gotta watch our timings here, especially if we're playing around Apex 47, right? Because you would have imagined that Alien, oh, he's got the penalty zone, he jumps on in, forces out the ultimate. Blacklist International should have been totally okay. They were not ready for that, man. That curveball, right? Because again, for maybe it's it comes down to muscle memory, and for most teams, wait a minute, Rosa just walks away since we tried to predict the, predict the black shoes. Oh no. Yeah, they're gonna punish him right here as Yue gets right on top of Rosa. Quick purify and Apex 47 to cover. He knows that Edward. Kalian tau nggak guys tujuan Rosa tadi majuin kayak gitu biar apa? Biar katapultnya hilang. Jadi si Yue nggak dapat guys. Cuma tetap dapat tadi karena dibantu nama si Sensui. Kalau nggak hilang itu katapultnya guys. That's why Renegade had to pop the time journey, but he completely forgot of Apex 47, who was playing it more like an assassin. He was hiding in the bushes. Actually, it's kind of interesting. The more that I think about it, right, the more that teams, it's very clear that they are uncomfortable to play around the Tigreal because, again, it's so fresh into the meta. It's not like some. It's not like somebody is constantly playing every different. Kalian bayangin nggak sih guys, kalau misalnya udah combo kayak gitu, ada Beatrix Greenet anjing. Yes, muscle memory, but also. Pusing cow, damage nya berapa gede itu guys? Udah bucat bucat Lilia. I mean, the bombardier right, Beatrix anjing. More than just the effective range of what it once did. It's instant. And again, yeah, tadi dibantu Sensu soalnya makanya dapat katapultnya. Cuman tujuan Rosa kayak gitu. Tonton kita lihat ya. Pasti salah satu nah dibuang dulu kan ultimate. Nah, Apex nya nih, Apex nih, Apex nih. Apex momen nih. Ah, Ju udah rata duluan coy sebelum Apex ulti. Lanjut gua mah katanya. Lihat, yang kebuang ultinya cuma Leo, Lilia, sama Teris lah guys. Terus Beatrix, Apexnya masih nyimpen guys. Kalian bayangin kalau Blacklist maju lagi guys. Udah, 
I'm going to Both are capable of either. And then you have a DNZ on the Leo Ward as cleanup. That's basically one plus one equals two. Bob's your uncle. You're done. It's on like a bowl of neck bones. But the truth is, there's more layers to it. The Father Five Rock Esports. Rapi, mereka pengeluaran skill ya guys menurut gua. Pressurnya dapat, main dua lane yang dapat. Lihat, baru menit delapan udah dua lane guys. Tengah sama bawah. Pressurnya tinggi banget nih. Lihat nih. TNC ke atas, tapi nggak bakal nongol dulu. Bawahnya nahan. Tuh, TNC nongol, tapi bawahnya nggak ngehajar, guys. Nah, di saat TNC nya udah ke tengah, pasti Firefox yang ngehajar, guys. Dari yang dua lane yang tengah bawah jadi tengah atas, tuh, lihat, guys. Begitupun Blacklist, guys, sama kebalikannya. Gitu. Possible weaknesses had, and I don't think weakness is the right term. I'd say windows of opportunity for your opponents to come back. Kalau tim rapi itu mainnya udah kayak gitu guys. Is you wait for these CCs to come through. Dua lane. I think if you can time journey and then completely disengage, wait for the next time you can fight, then that's one way blacklist can come back from. But another thing that they can do is counter blessings. Oheb hasn't died yet. At least you can say Oheb hasn't died yet. And the true. Tujuannya apa sih bang? Main dua lane. Biar kalau temennya dihajar, koneknya deket ya. Daripada atas ke bawah, keburu HP lu blue screen ya atau low bet. Jadi mainnya dua lane ya, babi. That's the set from them gone. Oh, the poor guy, the poor guy can't do much about that. And now Blacklist International, unfortunately, it's going to be a struggle to actually contest. Maybe since we can make something happen despite being two levels down onto TNZ. TNZ is Gila Rosa Anjir. Selain jago nyanyi, jago Melilia. Es. Menang level soalnya guys Buset Dua Legion Sword Ares Belt Mau bikin apa tuh Leo BOD dulu sih itu But here lies the problem again for Blacklist. They were banking on the mid-game power spike. That's why they played onto Oheb so heavily in the start of the game. But now that we basically reached the point where Oheb should be hitting his critical mass, hmm. how does this comp scale towards the late game? They have a very good, uh, diverse damage from physical and magic, but I would have to say that Fireflux, their late game composition seems a bit better. It seems like they have will outscale blacklist but the the, the thing with the fireflux is it's very committal they have anjir dibuang digi ulti kan set lihat apex lihat apex mata di apex guys mata di apex lihat conceal set balik ya guys ya ya biar apa biar disiplin you can see he was telegraphed and blacklist they caught it mid air now it gets scary for fireflux actually inside the base because that's when you can't really layer it as much Bapak bener kalau jadi XP harus ganteng Iyalah Gua gitu contohnya Harus ganteng emang Maybe you can't just throw these ults out so easily. 
massively. I mean, he's been technically, we're talking about stacks, he's been reset twice, so back to, kind of back to square one in these stages of the game, but he's been farming up pretty quickly overall with these auto alarm bombs to get the initial vision. Speaking of which, since we, he's still sniffing it out, right? He's trying to figure out where Pasti exactly Pertus tuh kalau parang nungguin ini, guys. Terus udah ulti, guys. Soalnya kagetan gitu, Rene J kalau nggak ulti sih bahaya ya. Apex. Gue berekspek kayak draftnya menangan kanan ternyata sebantai itu guys ini Leo Mortanji sama Lilia ya gara-gara satu momen tadi kesedot empat mati semua nih netornya langsung naik semua antuk wiras cuy Leo Mortanji cuy pusat TNG di sana cu siapa yang nyangka heads Hah, sekali kuda langsung sekarat kena rosa juga ya. Serem bos. Gila Lilia. Gila co. Apex, Apex lihat Apex ya, lihat Apex ya. Lihat Apex ya. Lihat guys, Apex guys, tuh lihat. Gila nggak guys? Tuh orang. Gila nggak guys? Fireflux Esports was a great play in the end. They were able to find that big pickup, but you could definitely see that even for Sunshine, he didn't have the right weapons. Now it's you who's flickering out, Whoa. going in. Okay, he's going a little too far here. Rosa trying to peel him away as since we get all. Oh, oh, no. Luliat, Luliat. From the Thor Queen, and she continues to expand her domain. Luliat, ini Rosa co. What the hell? Mau ancurin tower anjing? Gila ini Rosa sih dari dulu main kayak gitu guys Agresif, parah And Rosa can play anything. Rosa can pick up anything. Maybe one more defensive item or nope. Forget about it. I'll just go all in damage. I mean, might as well. You, this is the biggest lead we've seen against. Is it going to crystal? I think it's going into the crystal possibly, right? Okay, it might change at the very end. You know, Maybe. who knows? It's just the component. Hey, there's no. Winter, I say it. Rosa, blood wings. Oh. Oh. Blood, you just stay blood front. wings, yeah. Chunk my shield. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, oh. oh. Sunshine is out of there. Phantom Steam being called as we do see the time journey being popped out as well as the Nether Realm. Looks like they're overcommitted on this. The implosion is going to lock it down. Their boy Agent Edward. Zero. He's gone. Penalty zone on top of Oheb's side. He can't get out of there. And it looks like game one is just about done here for the side of Blacklist Internationals. They look to put up a defense, but Sensui by himself with the help of Renegade and, and Yue, they don't have enough damage. They have no more answers. They're all low, but they can't seem to be finished off. But they open up the base and more importantly, looking for the Wah, gua nggak expect gila, jago banget, cok. Rosa nggak MVP sih aneh, guys. Tapi mereka main semua sih, jago semua, cok. Nah ini Rosa nih, guys, yang ini nih. Ini nih Rosa nih, buat kalian yang nggak tahu nih. Dia apa? Tergila-gila sama Penus waktu itu dia di interview itu. Jago banget anjing. Iya, dulu Rosa main partialnya ngeplank guys, bener. 